Good morning, I'm Yvette Houston of Light and Life West, and I just pray that you and your family are doing well during this season. You know, as I was preparing for this devotional, um, I just received my official ballot in the mail. So I'm like, wow, uh, voting time is fast approaching. And you know, as I began to look at all the different mailings that we were receiving and even our, our official voters information guide, you know, it started weighing on me a little bit um, about how I will vote. And I just thought about some things. I'm like, will I allow my emotions to, um, you know, guide my my decisions or will I allow the news, the things that I'm hearing daily, you know, hourly to uh, obscure my objectivity? You know, and I really had to think about that. I'm like, I don't think so. And you may be asking me why. Well, it's because I've decided that I am going to reimagine this process by trusting God to direct my path as I delight in him. Do you recall the words um, in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6? This is the Passion, passion Translation, the verses, uh, verse 5. Trust in the Lord completely and do not rely on your own opinions. With all your heart, rely on him to guide you and he will lead you in every decision you make. Verse six, become intimate with him in whatever you do, and he will lead you wherever you go. Wow, this is, this is quite interesting. Trust in the Lord completely and do not rely on your own opinions. So that means that as a believer, that my primary and our primary counsel is the word of God because we desire to be intentional um, with uh, seeking God's will, his will, whatever his will is on earth as well as in heaven. This is what God expects from his children. When we need guidance, we ask him in Jesus' name. And yes, even when it comes to exercising our right to vote, we seek him. Remember the word says to trust in the Lord completely and do not rely on our own opinions. So let us remember that God is with us. And as we review and familiarize ourselves with each, um, each ballot item, let's remember we have a helper. How about that? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that the Holy Spirit knows your will and is with us to guide us through this voting season. God, we thank you that we will not become overwhelmed with the details of this election, but we will pray that your will be done and trust that you will lead us through this process. Thank you that we have your written word and the Holy Spirit to guide us. We thank you that in this area of decision-making, as we exercise our right to vote, God, we thank you. Thank you for every provision and every promise in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go vote.